Hey, what's going on Guardians? TBL here, back once again to cover your Destiny 2 Weekly Reset Guide for the week of May 15th, 2018. That's right, it's another wonderful week in the world of Warmind. You've got some brand new things to grind for, and hopefully some refreshed quests to go on. Let's go ahead and dive on into it. For this week's milestones, of course we've got Ikora's Challenge, where you need to complete 5 challenges. You've got your Clan XP, your Nightfall Powerful Rewards, the Leviathan, Call to Arms. The Flashpoint this week is on Mars in the Hellas Basin, and then of course you've got your 3 Heroic Strikes. The usual milestones, plus whatever Anna Bray quest you haven't completed as of yet. Let's take a look at some of the Heroic Strikes. This week's Heroic Playlist Modifier Singe is Void Sin, so you're going to be dealing and taking 25% more Void Damage. Make sure you're prepared for that when you head in. For the Daily Modifiers, we've got Glass, which cuts your health and shield in half, but gives you double recharge rate, and Heavyweight, where Power Weapons will deal double damage and you get triple Power Weapon Ammo Drop Rate. Not too bad for that modifier, but Glass is a rough one. Be careful out there. For the Nightfall this week, the strike is the Strange Terrain Strike. Defeat Zal's Necromancer, Nocris, and his army of Frozen Hive. Of course, you can do the normal Nightfall at 270 light, but the Prestige is going to be sitting at a crispy 360. You can do both of those to get some powerful Ingram rewards for the week. Next up, we've got the Crucible playlist for this week. And this time around, Doubles is returning, so make sure you get your favorite dancing partner out and head off into the 2v2 playlist this week. And moving things over to Ikora Ray, your meditations are Fury, Payback, Tree of Probabilities, and the Strange Terrain Story Mission. And if you're looking to do the Leviathan Raid, the order of encounters this week is Gauntlet, Dogs, Baths, and then finally, of course, Callus, with the challenge this week being for the Gauntlet. Alright, that's it for your playlist. Let's head over to Tess Everest and see what new stuff she's got for you to spend your hard-earned bright dust on. Alright, so first things first, she's got the new celebratory dance. Eh, very appropriate, considering, uh, I guess, Warmind just dropped. We got something a little bit to celebrate there, new stuff to grind. We've got the grooving dance, so you can just be the most suave guardian in the tower, I suppose. Next up, we've got the legendary sparrow. This week, it is the Velos Knight, a very purple-looking sparrow, 150 uh, overall speed. Then, for the ship, it's the Neverfall. So long as the blood flows in these veins, she will fly. Out of that, our exotic ship this week is Holborn Splint. This is the new exotic ship. Kind of a new model to it. I kind of like the way it looks. Looks like a uh, kind of weird sort of inverted X-Wing. You'll be able to pick that up for about 2,000 Bright Dust. Out of that, we've got the new Legendary Ghost Shell, Waiting Cask Shell. Then, for the Eververse Armor this week, she is selling the boots for you. Warlocks this is going to be Mihalova's Path. Actually looks like kind of a standard pair of hiking boots there. Next up for the exotic ornaments, we have got the coup de main. I hope I'm saying that right. It is the OG Suros Regime ornaments. If you've been missing your white Suros, there you go. I know at the very least it makes me happy to look at. Following that, we've got the Mida Tactical Exotic Ornament. And that pretty much covers everything Tess has got and really everything that we've got to cover in this week's Reset Guide. All your favorite content has been refreshed and you've got a brand new opportunity to get out there, earn some powerful engrams, and push your light level, or power level, I'm still trying to get used to that, almost a year into it, still saying light. But you've got new opportunities to get some new gear and push your level a little bit closer to the max, where you can probably reliably run Escalation Protocol. But alright, that is going to be it for this one. Guardians, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a great amount of fun in the world of Destiny this week. I know I'm getting right back to grinding out the nascent Dawn quest for uh, Anna Bray. But I'm out for now. As always, I am the Black Link. Guardians, stay frosty.